this is a crate van. This is a show you this is obviously a weapon. Now look at that lounge. I mean I'm just gonna go and sit down there. It's big big chewy. one of the most impressive motorhomes that I'm finding and they're tuning out some really good motorhomes is Cathargo and I know Shane's really excited about it now especially this model here the liner for two i53 check this one out just first of all with the silver body it looks absolutely stunning if we just have a look at the front lights if you can as well and just the front end generally with those LED lights that front end looks mean, almost looks like Bane, is the best way to put it. Yeah, he does, yeah. Um, brilliant motor home, I, I believe it starts from just over £122,000. Double floor, as we can see right below, I mean that's a great bit of storage as it is. Again, lighting underneath there, all very well put together. And we all like a garage. Now this garage again is very impressive indeed the lounge which is what this is which is a relatively new layout really does go up and down so you i think they call it a handlebar garage That's so when you, yeah so when you put it um so when you put your bikes in the handlebars go in those little gaps there and it raises up and down but by the looks of it it's all heated and lit up you've got your electric points and everything in here Shower. Shower point as well, just round the corner. 450 uh, kg scooter payload. Really nice double sided doors. Shall we have a look inside? Shall have a look inside. Now, look at that lounge. I mean, I'm just going to go and sit down there. Shay, this is on another level. It's uh, it's just look the Cathargo. Yeah. The TV that pops up behind. I know. I mean, even daft things like this. I mean, when was the last time you saw seat belt, three point seat belts in a rear lounge? What a great lounge! Yeah. What a great well. lounge! I mean, you could just you could probably put your arms up and just lounge in this all day. So impressive, it really is. And if you just have a look down here very quickly as well, there is a button on the seats which extend the lounge out, so it almost becomes a, a full wraparound lounge. It's brilliant. I love it. This is my favourite motorhome. If I was to buy one, this would be it. I mean, th one thing you do have to look at with the Cathargo is that you probably do need to spend 20, 30 grand on spec just to get it to where it is. But Incredible. it's little things like this. It isn't positive though. <laughs> it's your coffee machine. I'm very well. positive about that one. It's got coffee on yeah. it. And then again, you've got your tarps. That's stunning. That's stunning. Yeah. And then we're going to move towards the front. I mean, there's so many little, you just have things like the understore floor, underfloor storage, should I say. You know, little compartments all over the shop. Look at that for storage. Yeah, so that's what the locker doors outside went to. You just check the locks out on it. They're just, just so well put together. Even, you know, just look at that control panel above the door. What? Nice three dials, and underneath you've got all, all the controls as well. Just top, top spec. And the other thing as well, I can go to bed without going to bed. That nearly never worked, did it? <laughs> But yeah, I mean, that's the new spec there, or the new layout there is the twin beds or the drop down bed just beyond the, uh, the bathroom itself. How much do they use, have they used of the space? I think they've used it all very well, actually. Haven't they? Yeah, with having that drop down bed there. I mean, you have got cupboards. And the thing about having this, it's like its own bedroom at the front. Yeah. Where you wouldn't use the front as much. No. I do like it. 
it's on the, uh, the nine-speed auto. And then we've got the separate shower. Now, something I do like about the shower, which I don't know if Jason's noticed, is the that skylight. waterfall Stunning. shower in the skylight. Beautiful. What's the bathroom like, Jason? Speechless. People can see for themselves. I mean, you can see when I spoke to the dealers, um, the likes of Premium Motorhomes and, and Go European, they've just said the quality somehow keeps getting better and better on these every year. Every uh, dispatch that they have, you just, they just never see them back. They start from 122. But like I said, you probably need to put 20 grand, 30 grand on it just to get to the spec that you want. As in what? Upgraded chassis and everything, you know, just everything, different woods, work so tops. So you're saying 150 grand? 140, 100, 150, yeah. It feels an 150 grand but vehicle. Yeah, 100%. Great run. Star of the show so far? What do you think to this, guy? Yeah, definitely star of the show, yeah. I just love that rear lounge, I really do. Just feel just feel that leather. It just feels. Seatbelts come out here, look. And again. And we've got a fresh water drain off, and we've got a wastewater drain off in here. Which is, I think it was you that said that the Germans do that so well, whereas they put everything in the right place, easily accessible. It's, even on a gas it's accessibility. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it's like, it's all around building these motorhomes, but if they're not going to be easy to fix, then the longevity of a motorhome isn't going to happen because people won't get them fixed. Yeah. And if you can get everything that you need to get at, um, they can just get fixed. This is a great van. This is a great, great van. And even though I do like my slimline fridges, with something like this, you do need that big, I think it's 160 litre fridge as well, which is a monstrous fridge. Great controls. I love those controls. Great controls. I love those dials at the top. But yeah, this- Deathless pretty much the same though as well, isn't it? Yeah, the TVs uh, do pop up from behind the sofa, as we said earlier. There's one in the uh, front lounge as well. One in the front as well. Great one. Yep. Now another Cathargo, and this one I really do like. Just look at the front end of this on the Mercedes. Shane, Shane. He's beat me to it. Let's take a look inside this one. It's the E-Line I-51QB. What do you reckon to this one, Jason? Now this is a van. Now I know you like your dials. Look just behind your head. Oh, look at them dials. <laughs> but it's on a Mercedes. Yeah. That's the difference. It is on the new cab Mercedes with that nice wide screen as well. You're not getting the bigger lounge like on the other one. No. On the liner for two. Smaller kitchen. But well, there's a bed. So what, how does that bed come down behind you or above you? And then we've got the drop down bed at the front. You know, so I, th I, think, I think it's a bit of a shame that that's not automatic. Yeah. yeah. Not when you're spending this type of money. It's a bit of a struggle then. Yeah. To come down. Not when you're spending this type of money. I do like the fridge. No, I'm just interested in right next to me here. It says oven in kitchen block is a new option. It's not something that comes as standard, you know. That's a little bit that you can add up with the price on these Cathargos. I mean, what's the, what's the, what's the price on this? 126 so, okay, so, 180. So if you put it that way, so the, the liner for two that we just looked at is is more. Yeah. So that's probably why you don't get a couple of bits like the drop down bed. Well, that's, that's when they'll probably upsell you. But could you do a drop down bed on that sort of bed? Normally they're just the flat drop down beds, not the the pull up and down. Does that make sense? Would you want a drop down bed in this type of van? Depends what you're using the van for. 
you're paying for Mercedes as well. You are paying heavily for the trade for Mercedes, yeah. What's inside? What does it look like, Kev? Yeah, nice. Nice, loads, loads of lighting. See, I do like this van, and I did like the other Cathargo. The two different vans, aren't they? Oh yeah, very much so. That's, to be fair, that's a big old. Uh, that's a great bedroom. Double bed. One thing I like about that is we still, still have the garage on the outside, but you don't have to fall over each other to get out. It's a queen size bed, anyway. Yeah, queen size bed. There you go. Side as well. And again, we have your base waterfall and on the skylight. Yeah. 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 Yeah.